Hey, what's going on guys? The Horror Man back with my review of Witchcraft 8, Salem's Ghost. Witchcraft 8, Salem's Ghost was filmed over the course of 10 days in 1994, but the movie wasn't actually released until 1996. It is considered the Halloween 3 of the franchise because it's not connected to the rest of them. There is no Will Spanner in this since he died in the previous entry. There is no Kelly, there is no Lutz, and there is no Garner. Interestingly though, there are a couple of actors who star in Witchcraft 8 who also had different roles in Witchcraft 7. Sort of like how Nancy Loomis plays Annie Brackett in Halloween and Halloween 2 and Linda Chalice in Halloween 3. Witchcraft 8 Salem's Ghost is about a man named Sonny who moves from California with his wife Mary Ann to an old house in Salem, Massachusetts. And although this one is set in Salem, it was filmed in California like the rest of the Witchcraft movies. Those with a keen eye will not only notice palm trees in the distance, but they will also spot the house from the original Witchcraft film across the street from the house in this one. Sonny and Mary Ann's new Salem house is huge, and it also happened to have been built over a cemetery. 300 years earlier, an evil warlock was burned at the stake, and his remains were buried in a tomb underneath the house. Of course, strange things begin happening almost immediately, but that doesn't stop the young couple from christening the kitchen of the house, if you know what I mean. And with this being part of the Witchcraft franchise, you probably know exactly what I mean. With that being said, originally this wasn't even supposed to be a witchcraft sequel. It was supposed to be a standalone film titled Salem's Ghost. It was also intended to be the start of a sort of spin-off series, but that never came to fruition, which is what ultimately led to it being the Halloween 3 of the franchise. But anyway, back to the story. Sonny and Marianne's annoying neighbors stop by. The husband is a plumber. He offers Sonny a free inspection of the house as a housewarming gift. Hesitant at first, Sonny accepts the offer. In the basement, a busted pipe is found, and it is recommended that a wall be taken down in case of a flood behind it. But what's really behind it is the tomb of the evil warlock. When he is alone in the basement working, Sonny's neighbor finds a cross-shaped dagger. He removes it from the wall, unleashing the warlock's ghost from the tomb. This allows the ghost to wreak havoc on Sonny and Mary Ann. Not long after, a witch hunter arrives, informing Sonny about the history of his house. He tells him that the evil warlock, now in his ghost form, is more powerful than ever. He can shapeshift and even invade nightmares, among other things. So now, Sonny must become a witch hunter himself to return the warlock's ghost to his tomb once and for all. As the standalone sequel in the franchise, Witchcraft 8 Salem's Ghost is actually pretty damn good. The evil warlock is portrayed with an over-the-top performance, and it's awesome. He's a really great and really memorable villain, I think. The old, supposedly set in Salem house is really moody and atmospheric. This sequel also features probably the creepiest imagery in the whole franchise so far. There are some recurring dream sequences that are genuinely scary. There are some cheap but effective effects in Witchcraft 8, and there's a really cool kill. The sex and nudity is somewhat toned down from the previous two entries, but it's hard to compete with those two since they had a lot of sex and nudity. Witchcraft 7, as I stated in that review video, was over the top gratuitous. In Witchcraft 8, the sex and nudity is a bit more tasteful once again. As of right now, you guys might be surprised where I rank this one, but nothing is official yet. I'm only halfway through the franchise. Eight films down, eight more to go. But until the next review, what are your thoughts on Witchcraft 8? Salem's Ghost. Comment below and let me know. Thanks for watching guys. Hit that thumbs up and be kind. Subscribe.